This e-learning video is about nuts, screws, washers and bolts. It relates to the IMI G4 or MS4 unit. Please ensure that you take the relevant notes. Lesson objectives. After studying this section and the video, you should be able to answer questions on nuts, screws, washers and bolts, screw or bolt heads, tightening, dimensions and thread types and locking methods. Introduction. A fastener is a hardware device that mechanically joins or fixes two or more objects together. There is a large number of fasteners used in automobiles, some standard and some specialist. Most of the main types are outlined in this section. Three major types of steel are used for fasteners in the automotive and other similar industries. They are stainless steel, carbon steel and alloy steel. Nuts and bolts and screws and variations on the theme are the most common type of fasteners. They can also be described as non-permanent fixing methods because they can be undone. Nuts. A nut is a type of fastener with a threaded hole. Nuts are almost always used with a corresponding bolt or stud to fasten two or more parts together. The nut and bolt are kept together by a combination of the friction of their threads, a slight stretch of the bolt and compression of the parts. In applications where vibration or rotation may work a nut loose, various locking mechanisms are used. This will be discussed later in the video. Locking nuts. Adhesive, safety pins or lock wire, nylon inserts or slightly oval shaped threads are used for this purpose. The most common shape for a nut is hexagonal, for a sim similar reason as the bolt head. Six sides give a good range of angles for a tool to approach in tight spots, but more and smaller corners would be vulnerable for it to be rounded off. Other specialised shapes exist for certain needs, such as a wing nut for finger adjustment and captive nuts for inaccessible areas. Screws and bolts. A screw or bolt is a type of fastener characterised by a helical ridge known as the external thread or just thread wrapped around a cylinder. Some screw threads are designed to mate with a complementary thread known as an internal thread, often in the form of a nut or an object that has an internal thread formed into it. Other screw threads are designed to cut a helical groove in a softer material as the screw is inserted. These are known as self-tapping. The most common uses of screws are to hold objects together and to position objects. Screw or bolt heads. A screw and a bolt will always have a head, which is a specially formed section on one end of the thread that allows it to be turned or driven. Common tools for driving screws include screwdrivers and wrenches. The head is usually larger than the body of the screw, which keeps the screw from being driven deeper than the length of the screw and to provide a bearing surface. A selection of screws are shown here together with some common head shapes and the many different shapes for turning tools. Tightening. The majority of screws are tightened by clockwise rotation, which in turn a right-handed thread. Screws with left-handed threads are used in exceptional cases. For example, when the screw will be subject to counterclockwise torque, which would work to undo a right-hand thread, a left-handed thread screw would be an appropriate choice. The left side wheel nuts of many heavy vehicles use a left-handed thread. Dimensions. There are many systems for specifying the dimensions of screws, but in much of the world, the isometric screw thread preferred series has displaced the many older systems. Other relatively common systems include the British Standard Whitworth, BA system, and the Unified Thread Standard. Isometric Screw Thread. The basic principles for the isometric screw thread are defined in international standards. The most commonly used pitch value for each diameter is the coarse pitch. For some diameters, one or two additional fine pitch variants are also specified. 
Isometric screw threads are designated by the letter M, followed by the major diameter of the thread in millimetres, for example M8. If the thread does not use the normal coarse pitch, for example 1.25mm in the case of an M8 bolt, then the pitch in millimetres is also appended with a multiplication sign. For example, M8 times 1, where the screw thread has an outer diameter of 8mm and the pitch is 1mm. Please study the image on the right hand side of this screen. Washers. A washer is a thin plate, usually disc shaped, with a hole most often in the middle, that is normally used to distribute the load of the threaded fastener such as a screw or nut. Other uses include a spacer, spring, wear pad, preload indicating device, locking device and to reduce vibration. Washers usually have an outer diameter about twice the width of their inner diameter. Automotive washers are usually metal or plastic. Washers are also important from preventing galvanic corrosion, particularly by insulating steel screws from aluminium surfaces. Types of spring locking washers. There are several types of spring locking washers and the common ones are listed here. Please pause the video and study the table on the right hand side and the explanations of each washer on the left hand side and then move on. Adhesives. Another common method of securing threads is to use a locking compound, such as Loctite. This is in fact an adhesive which sticks the threads together. When the correct compound is applied with care, it is a very secure way of preventing important components from working loose. Self-tapping screws. As the name suggests, these screws are designed to create their own thread as they are used. They are only suitable, therefore, for light duties and softer or thinner materials. A wide variety of sizes and head types are available. A captive spring nut can also be used with a self-tapping screw. The captive spring nut is the right-hand image at the bottom. Summary. Nuts, screws, washers and bolts, as the old newspaper headline goes. Seriously though, the types of fasteners or joining devices we have examined here are fundamental to automotive technology as well as all aspects of engineering. Make sure when using the placements that they are of equal quality as re recommended by the vehicle manufacturer. This video has contained a lot of information. Don't forget you can access the PowerPoint which is hyperlinked beneath this video. Once you've got all your notes in order, please attempt the quiz also hyperlinked in the Google Doc.